Hello, everyone. I'm Jake Friday, your Dungeon Master, and I will be running this game of Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus here today. This will be our fifth episode, and uh, we're still in the Dungeon of the Dead 3, but at the end, so we got that going for us. Mortlock is with them. They just experienced Vaz in a lesser state. By the way, Vaz, remember when I was telling you all those things, like how this that encounter was supposed to be ran? Vaz was supposed to have full health, which was like 90, instead of half of what how you guys fought him with half. So he had a wow. bunch of junk. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. He's dead now. Him and his skinless skull. So let's get started right now. Uh, you guys left off finishing Vaz. And Mortlock is on death's door. He's got, I believe, uh, Kairos, you gave him one point of lay on hands. <laughs> which right. is That's right. Which is better than, you know, nothing. It's what I got. He went to a, he went to an unranked medical school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the medical school of horror. H O A R. <laughs> That's right. Horror's medical school. Um, okay, so you guys are in there. Mortlock is down on one knee. He looks around at you guys and says, "They set me up." Who did this guy? My brothers and family. Right, who are you again? Did he give us his name? Yeah, he did. He gave us his name. Oh, okay. He Mortlock did. Mortlock Van Thamper? Yes. Uh, also, Jerry would know him, Jarvis would know him, and most Wait, of... Didn't, didn't we see you up in the bathhouse? Weren't you working up there? No. I came down here. There were different entrance that's now blocked but uh, so uh <clears throat> you guys clear out this shithole uh yeah this was the end of it so. and we've been killing everything we come across for the most part except for uh her i assume vendetta is still around yeah she is just observing and trying to keep her eyes open in case anything else she's just freaked out by by uh the bloody old woman right i feel like we've been doing a lot of that lately freaking people out well mm -hmm. hey guys we've all been under a lot of uh stress let's just you know let's like go have a drink let's just, let's just I go would take like, a load off i don't know i'd like we'll to learn more about this this uh nebra Oh, uh, the one. Oh, uh, well, our head is uh It's her head's over that way. Um, <laughs> if you need to look at that, it, uh, it was. It was you know. It was it was chest height. It it's just. Did, did we angle? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we did. Um, I'm, go I'm going to go over and search Deborah's body yeah. while they're all talking. I'll go search. Minus the head. Skeletor's body. All right. And I want to take a closer look at the statues. Indeed. That didn't go so well for you last time. It never does. Okay. Like closer look, I mean, like. Nebra gotcha. has 16 silver. And the skinless head, Vaz. Burr, burr, burr. Ebra's buying us drinks tonight. Vaz got Vaz has those that daggers. Um, I, they're not. They're just normal daggers. They are well taken care of. Um, and uh, yeah, he's got uh, nine silver total. Uh, I'll take um, one of those daggers. I could always use a good knife. You have a dagger. Mortlock says, oh, My brothers tried to kill me. I knew it was coming. They 
hate me, and I think my mother hates me too. So do? I doubt. I it's okay, man. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Well, uh, Amrick's her favorite, my middle brother, and uh, pretty sure he is the one that he pays these idiots, these cultists, and uh, I'm pretty sure he paid them to try and kill me. I owe you my life, to say the least. So, uh... I think the feeling's a little mutual, to be honest. Uh, those daggers look like they hurt a whole bunch, and none of them stuck into my torso. That's pretty they, unique for me. So I'm I can confirm they hurt a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> they do you hurt. You look a little rough there, buddy. You look, uh... So, uh... As I said, my family is paying the Dead Three cultists uh, to murder me and to murder other people in the city. Uh, the goal was to prove that the Flaming Fist can't do their job, undermine them. Once the city stops paying the Flaming Fist, the Flaming Fist will have less of a reason to stay in Baldur's Gate. With them gone, no one can stand in the way of my mother becoming the city's Grand Duke. Which... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is the watch going to get paid? <laughs> That's uh, your concern right now, Jerry? Yeah, I'm sure she, she's cool with the watch. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I... Jerry, that, Jerry, that probably means the watch is, is corrupt as all hell. You, you realize that, right? I, I, that stinks, but man, I need to get, <laughs> I need to get paid because I, I bought a bunch of silk on, on credit and, ugh. I toss a silver over to you. <laughs> You bought Whoa. silk on credit. Whoa! <laughs> it was like one of those, What's one of that? those. Jerry, Jerry, let's just let's just do this. Cut to Jerry walking up to the counter to buy a bolt of silk in his arm. <laughs> Is that all you? That's quite a lot of silk, sir. Um, yeah, yeah, I need it. Um, they say that, uh, like, if you have sheets that are made of silk then you'll sleep way better well i and can I confirm feel... oh awesome nice yeah so i'll take all this right here that'll be five gold and uh by the way would you be interested in our silky smooth credit program today i don't, I don't even know what is that well uh we the, you'll be walking out of here with this bolt of silk I'm sold right now. I'll take it. I'll do it. Excellent. Sign here, here, and here. And you sign. And cutting back now. <laughs> five gold. Mark that down. <laughs> You're in debt five gold, which is probably not a problem with you no, for I you think now. I have money now. Yeah. Yeah. I should have. I should have upped it, but I also didn't want to put you put you out. Uh, Mortlock says. Uh, so if my mother, you all know my mother, right? The Lamra, Van the Lamra. Thamper. Yeah, she's a duke. She's got four name. arms the size of a halfling torso. She's got four arms? <sighs> four arms. The part between your elbow and oh, your... four arms. Right. Big one, gotcha. Yeah, she... She used to... Beat me for giving Amrick a hard time. But anyway, so if she gets her way, Baldur's Gate will share El Terrell's fate and get dragged into the Nine Hells, which is not something I want to be around for. Uh, it doesn't seem great. And her being the last uh, one of the three remaining members of the Council of Four that governs Baldur's Gate, she was instrumental in convincing Ravenguard, older we used to call him Uncle Oldie. She convinced him to uh, travel to El Terrell and meet with its high overseer, Thavius Krieg. Uh, I think I met him once, but we didn't call him uncle. Anyways, with Raven Guard gone, the Flaming Fist is leaderless and vulnerable. Uh, Do you have any proof that we could like show somebody of this? Other than your word? 
Well, um, you could probably get it for my brother, Amrick, who he also uh, runs a money lending business out of a tavern called Low Lantern. My mother doesn't expect much of me, but she thinks the world of Amrick. And all right, what was that tavern called? Low Lantern. Thank you. Uh, and then there's uh, I got the order of the brothers wrong. Anyways, it's fine. What's uh, Mortlock's mom's name? The Lamra. T H A L A M B R A. Got it. Thank you. And uh, my older brother, Thirstwell, uses imps as spies throughout the city, so he might have been seeing you when you came in here. Um, he likes to have an imp at the uh, bathhouse uh, to keep surveillance. Oh, and, God. Uh, Glad you finished that sentence. Whew. I thought that sentence just stopped that he likes to have an imp. Well, it's, it's, it sounds like he, he does to like to have an imp. <laughs> Multiple imps, it sounds like all all kinds of imps. You know, he's but... he's not a big deal. He's very sickly, and uh, he hardly leaves the estate. So, well, I wouldn't um, underestimate him. The ones who have all the secrets are often the most powerful. So, anyways, there's some treasure down there, and he points down the uh, stairs. Uh, I don't think the cult is gonna be back for a while. Probably break up. Um, since you've killed most of them, so uh, the treasure's down there. And he points Let's go shopping. down the stairs and yeah, uh, and trap. Statue, my, my very short statue search, I abandon that and go to, to the treasure. <laughs> yeah, we can come back to that. Let me know. Um, so the chests, there's four chests and they're locked. Um, what would you like to do? I'd like to pull out the keychain with seven keys on it that we picked up picked up off of Buckethead. Yes, indeed, they work. So, um, chest one holds forty five hundred copper pieces, two red crystal vials with gold stoppers. Anything that I'm mentioning here, remember to put where it came from, where it came from which is D30. Um, chest 2 contains 10 eye agates scattered amongst amid 1,250 silver pieces. Chest 3 contains a delicate porcelain dragon mask resting on a bed of 2,400 copper pieces and 500 silver. Chest 4 contains a bronze crown with five spires. Each spire is shaped and painted to resemble one of the five kinds of... Um, so it's a spire with like a little dragon head on it. Um, and you guys have heard stories or uh, whatever. They're chromatic dragons they uh, are meant to uh, imitate. They are pretty worn awesome. down, but um, yeah, so there's those. Chest 1 weighs 70 pounds. Chest 2 weighs 37 pounds. Chest 3 weighs 55 pounds. And... Der -der -der. Yeah, the crown is two and a half pounds. I'm looking at the glittery or the crown because that's definitely grabs my attention. So it's black, blue, green, red, and white. Put it on. Oh, do any of you guys know about dragons? Because I don't. I just think they're so cool. Uh, no, I know put nothing. It on. Do you think it fits? Does it fit? Does it look? Does it look good? What do you guys think? Um, I guess meanwhile I'm gonna actually start performing a ritual of detect magic and see if anything in this in this in these chests ping. Um, you do that, uh, and the thing that pings are the potions, which you probably would have surmised. Yep. And that's it. 
But like I said, these things are heavy. Mm -hmm. So figure out what you there's want to take. There's four of us and there's four crates. I can probably pick up the heavy one. Well, cr crate number four has nothing in it, essentially. So we nothing can provide at all. some of the weight to crate four if needed. Oh, that's a good idea. You're a thinker. Yeah. So I start scooping copper pieces from chest one into chest four to split those two up. The crown is on my head. Mm -hmm. Should we take the probably take the crystal vials out so you guys don't break them? Yeah, you can put that put that in your bag for yeah, now. That will be so. Get those looked at unless anybody here can tell what those are. Mortlock comes up behind you, um, holding some of his wounds, and says. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take off. I'm going to catch the first boat out of here. Oh, one second, Morlock, and I take out my pad of paper, and I start asking him where he lives and take down his address and my horrible scrawled writing. He's very... I'm done with all the others. Yeah, he's he's basically done with his family and wants to help you with as much information as he can regarding the villa. And... um the low uh amrix restaurant low lantern did i say it? that was it right mm -hmm. um and uh sweet and where we can find them if we need to yeah so i will uh post post this in discord chat real quick uh where did i put it there it is. Okay, that goes up. So I'm just gonna post my map. So you guys are at the bathhouse uh, Low Lantern is in the harbor south, and uh, not basically uh, Jerry would have known where, with a, sure. a moderate check, would have known where Van Thamper Villa. He probably could have asked someone as well, but uh, yeah, you got all of that. Though I assume he's not going back there. What with the. Oh no, Mortlock's just—he's <laughs> um, taken off. He—he he doesn't want to deal with his family. Gotcha. Doesn't want to when you guys are talking about confronting the family, and uh, he doesn't want to deal with his mother. And got it. Well, Flaming Fist, thanks you uh, for uh, your your help here today. Uh, good good luck. All right. I'll be seeing you. Never, hopefully. He walks out of the dungeon. Oh, we man. Guys, we should get a crate. lantern. Well, we should sleep. We should do a bunch of things, but yeah, then let's get these chests out. Uh, before we exit, I want to take another look at those statues. I just feel, you know, we've done such great, great work down here. I feel remiss walking away from these statues and just kind of leaving them here. They're, Dude, they're, you, they're real you bad. look so cool in that crown, Kairos. Oh, that you, yeah, it, it's, and... it's good, right? You're so cool. I'll come with you, Kairos. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still detecting magic. Just drag the chest over that way. Oh yeah, yeah, we can. So, uh, with us. I'll just reread the box text here. Um, each statue stands atop a two-foot-high block of redstone. Uh, they're painted. Mostly, um... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. They're painted wooden statues. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I'm I'm feeling them for like secret compartments or things like that, uh, hidden things that it might have. And then I'm going to smash him with my maul. Okay, when you come up to the Bane statue, make a charisma saving throw. Did any of it, when I walked up, ping of magic? Uh, walking up? Were you right next to him? I, I said I was going with him. Okay, yeah, sure, it did. Because detect magic's like 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, sure. 
This one's magical. This one's evil. And I walk up to it. <laughs> um, I got a 19 on my saving throw. Yeah, you start to feel an urge to kneel before it. Uh, nothing much more than that, other than just... Um, I ask Hor for guidance, and as I do so, uh, my eyes change silver as I cast Vomiturgy, um, praying to my god. I go, yep, definitely evil. And I just thwack it in its legs and try to just break, bring down the Bane statue. It comes down. It's a wooden statue. I'm not going to awesome. make you roll for it. Uh... Gentlemen, uh, there's two more. Anybody? Anybody? I'm, I'm not well equipped for smashing. Are they... Are do you want, do you want to use my maul? Evil? Yeah, I want to use your maul. Oh, here you go. Try it out. I mean, it's what it's it's yeah. balanced. It's it's you know it's not very fancy. Jerry does one of these. Bam! And just, nice. Yeah. It's down. And then I go for the third one and throw a fireball at it. Firebolt. Sorry. Shoot. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that one yet. <laughs> Yeah, we'll say you take it down with a couple. Just, we just leave it burning. Yep. <laughs> Walk away with the with one of them burning and the other two toppled. Yep. All right, I feel a lot better. Let's let's get out of here. I want to sleep. So there's <laughs> it's an action movie. Um, you guys still have the map, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. there are there were a couple areas, weren't there? There was another. There was one directly there on. Right? There's another room. E thirty two. Yeah, thirty two. There you go. Uh, in there, there's nine wooden crates. Uh, checking them, a bunch of rats run out from underneath, and uh, six of the crates are empty except for straw. The other three contain goods, uh, such as ten days worth of rations, twenty caltrops, three flasks with something in it. Jerry definitely grabs one of the flasks and just starts drinking it. Oh, God. No. 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 Okay. Good job. Before Good job, he Jerry. did that, before while he was doing that, did I see, like, anything magical nope. pinging off it? Okay. At least nope. it's not as bad. But yeah, it's no, it's just bad. poison. Well, it's also yeah. in, a, <laughs> in a container, so... It's a flask. It's a flask, mm. yeah. Uh, Brian, can you help me look up Alchemist fire. <laughs> yes. God damn it. I believe it does one d four damage, but it does light you on fire. So drinking it, I don't know. You said flask. I thought it was that. just like. Yeah, it's a flask of alchemist yeah. fire. Okay. Do you want me to read the whole block or just a synopsis? Uh, what? Yeah. Block. Whatever's. I'll read the whole block so that you can. Um, It'll better yeah. DM what it's like going down a throat. <laughs> Um, so it's this sticky <laughs> adhesive fluid oh my God. <laughs> ignites when exposed to air. It's like nice As an napalm. Action, you can throw this flask up to 20 feet, shattering upon impact. <laughs> uh, you make a ranged attack as an improvised weapon. On a hit, the target takes 1d4 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. Uh, you can end the damage by putting the fire out against a DC 10 dexterity. So sticky uh, adhesive. <laughs> so Jerry, when you pop it open, it, it's a little bit like molasses, and you get a little bit on your mouth, and the thing bursts. Oh, I, oh I've had shots like these before. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it, as soon as it uh, ex is exposed to a large amount of air, such as leaving the bottle and coming into your mouth, it. Uh, <laughs> Gary, get your mind out of the uh, gutter. Um, it bursts into fire, flames, and uh, what do you do? Oh, gosh, guys, this is a real strong shot. Whoa. Jerry, your face is on fire. Uh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> make a... Hold on. It was at the beginning of his turn, right? I start, I start slapping his face to put out the fire. The damage, the 1d4 is at the beginning? Yeah, at the start of each of his turns. Do you want me to roll my damage? You or... took so, uh, two damage to begin with. I'm so his face. His face is what's on fire right now, right? Yeah, his lips and so mouth. I, I cast <laughs> prestidigitation to create a chill, like chill feeling, and because I can do one cubic foot, 
and it will cool him down theoretically maybe so you know the icy hot when you rub icy hot on your skin <laughs> it feels like that uh icy you're still hot. you're still on fire it's a different <laughs> sensation it's like <laughs> is jerry just flailing around as his <laughs> mouth and out flames with press uh, uh i don't oh i can snuff out a candle Poor, help me! And the flames change to blue. <laughs> if I can't put it out, I can just switch the color. <laughs> so if, I, if I can use some oppressive digitation to snuff out a candle, does that would that consider? No, that's not going to help with alchemist yeah. fire. Cool, didn't think so. You can. Nope. We'll say you you both of you try that. The flame turns blue, and Jerry's going to take a little bit more. Two more fire damage. <laughs> Still slapping his face. <laughs> Trying to oh, pull out. God. Jerry, oh, God, it burns. <laughs> I could put him to sleep. No. This is the worst shot I've ever had. Why isn't there a label? There's flames just licking up his face. <laughs> is there water at the bottom? There's, there isn't water in this room, is there? He nope. said Jerry, there was a boat. Back to the other room. Back he to the other room. Shove somewhere. your face in the water. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jerry starts taking off to the room. <laughs> where are you running? Oh. Uh, D29 <laughs> is where there was water last. Yeah, there's poop water. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> there there water I was that talking about. The one. That's where he goes. All right. So before That's... before you dunk Hopefully your face it's not in there, flammable. it's another two points of fire damage. Bunch of methane gas. Remember that water that was hallway. flammable? Imagine if that was what that was. You push away a few uh, large chunks of of somebody's long gone well, previous meal, and you <laughs> put your mouth in it. Fire goes out. You scrape this sticky substance. Uh, into the water, and uh, yeah. Did we learn anything today? We have oh. three flasks of alchemist fire. <laughs> oh. Well, there... two. Oh, I guess he didn't drink at all. No, he probably there... got like like a golf ball, maybe a little less in his mouth. And it's like, oh man, it's way worse than that cinnamon whiskey I had one time. I got so drunk off that stuff. Ah oh, man, Fireball. I can't taste anything. In the Forgotten no, Realms, it's also called good. Fireball. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Published. Jerry, your uh, your lips, oh. you're, you got some. Oh man, that's not gonna. That's gonna take a minute. <sighs> Does your face still feel cold? Because I didn't drop the precedent. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the help, guys. Thanks. Never leave a man down. His skin is peeling off best. his lips. I pulled uh, down my pressed digitation so you're not cold anymore. Poor Jerry. What Thanks, else did guys. you say was in that in that crate other than the three flasks? Six sets of manacles, four tinder boxes, nine daggers, and four uh vials of uh glass vials of some Normal substance. daggers? Yeah. When you the go vials are empty or they're full of something full of something well, full of a red take... substance I guess we should take these vials yep uh, and one uh, maybe that's I... what you're supposed to chase these shots with oh uh, yeah here you go a... would you say 10 minutes has no. gone by or <laughs> am i still pinging Probably, magical i think you're still pinging for your in the last couple minutes minutes anything pinging in any of these um... the, the vial the glass vials do and that's it. Cool. Uh, and uh, these, I mean, this, this is decent food. I know we're finding it in a sewer, but if you guys don't want these, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take them. Yeah, I'll buy yeah, non-sewer rations. Um, can what what uh room is this? Uh, I got an iron balls? stomach. And it's fine. D thirty two. Thank you. Oh, let's uh let's get out of here. I mean, we got these chests. I have a suit of armor that I have to drag out of here as well. So did, uh, did we look at D thirty? Um, yeah, that's where you got the um crown and all the other chests. That's where the oh, chests okay, okay. Did we look in D thirty one? Nope. No. Swing by that. Is as that well. door clearly visible from D thirty two? Would we be like, hmm, I wonder what's behind that? Oh, you could see it from D twenty nine. It's just like a little cutaway. Yeah. 
Gotcha. You guys check it out. It's a crate with 60 torches, but uh, only five remain. It says 60 on the outside of the box. I mean, you can never have too many torches. I'll take two. As he's grabbing the two torches, I light them. Oh, we're, we're not going to use them right now. We can all see, can't we? Okay, then. No, I just wanted to... He doesn't see me light them. I'm just messing with him. I will put those down. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> just kidding. Roller coaster. Two more. Just dips them in the water. And like, <laughs> like, oh, self-lighting torches. They're, that's pretty handy, actually. <laughs> yeah, not if you don't get to choose when they light. <laughs> well, magic is a little... Uh, just messing with you, and I put them out. Yeah, but now they're already all burnt up on the outside. I'll take two more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you put them in the bag. They get set all over your stuff. It's just, yeah. They're fresh. You gotta leave them fresh. Says the guy that messed with me in our last D&D campaign by lighting candles. That was a long time ago. <laughs> when I didn't know light was a touch spell. Is that just um, a jar of pickle juice? <laughs> what, Brian? Like, uh, what, Brian was drinking? <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, Jarvis... Yeah. No, I have a blue cup. No. Wait, yeah. what'd you ask? It looks like a jar of pickle juice that you're drinking. Oh, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> so I the same. I had a friend in high school whose brother, older brother, would drink pickle juice. Ugh. It's a thing. And, and yeah, disgusting. there's a there's like a whiskey drink you can make, right? Or he would drink it like, out of the pickle no, jar. Straight, yeah. Yeah. People do that. It's crazy. And it's then he would hat. burp in people's faces. And it was disgusting. disgusting. But there is a there is a cocktail Horrible. made with pickle juice. I forget what they call them, but there is. It's true. Pickle yeah. peats. Pickle. Pickle peats. It's what something like you know. It's like a a pickle mule or something. Like it's yeah. like a it's like a version of a cocktail, but it's with pickle sure. juice. Sure. Sure. Anyway, uh, let's get out of this disgusting sewer. So you guys yeah, are carrying. This I, I think I, I'd like to go take a rest now. With you guys. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like I need a bath. Yeah, uh, with water probably. There is a bathhouse conveniently oh. placed above us. Oh, right. oh yeah, guys, let's out. just let's just go up there. They kept on offering to take care of us. Let's go up well, there. Well, I mean, I there. think the staff is pretty much uh, gone at this point. But, gone but, but he's dead. got a point. Have the whole got place to ourselves. We got the whole we, place to ourselves. We left a bunch of dead guards up there, so hopefully nobody notices. Well, we pulled them inside. It's fine. Emotion. We have to go up that way either way. Yeah. No, there is another way out we learned. No, but it's, it's blocked. blocked. It's blocked oh, out. yeah, that's right. Uh, is that the tunnel I collapsed? No. No. Oh. It sounded like he, he collapsed it or something like that. So, from how he talked about it. You guys are taking everything, right? All the treasure? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Is there... Oh, I guess there's only four of us in four chests. I was going to say I can go ahead and make sure because we're being loud, but oh well. Every crate is. There's actually five of us because Vendetta is still with 50 us. Pounds now. Yeah. Vendetta joins you as you exit the dungeon and uh, immediately leaves uh, saying goodbye. What? Did you get her address? Yeah. No, as she's running away, I'm like, wait, Vendetta, I need to go! <laughs> yeah, she's. Well, well we, know, we know who she works for. We can find her. I'll collect her statement later. So what are you guys, are you guys exiting, or are you going to clean off well, in the bathhouse? Bath I mean, house. I'm going to clean out the bathhouse. Yeah, bath definitely. Yeah. We're already I don't here. got any armor, so I'm good. I mean, we're I gotta, covered. Like, I got to take mine shit. off. Yeah, yeah we, we're so. pretty bad. No, I mean, yeah, I don't have to oh, okay. spend the time to take off my armor. I'm like you guys. As you're getting ready to clean off, all of the disgustingness that was in that dungeon, Jarvis makes it known that he can take a bath, start a bath quicker than all of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it, Jarvis. How about you just help us out? I mean, if if you help, then it only takes me five minutes to take off my armor. Nope, and I just go take a bath. Fair enough. <laughs> I, can, I can help with your armor. It can't take me very long. To get mine off. Oh, thanks. That's that's really nice, of you buddy. There's like, there's this one, there's this one strap. I can't. Yeah, it's such a pain. Yep, I got, I got. You. <laughs> cool. And then we continue to clean ourselves of all the gross. Excellent. We leave the bathhouse in a horrible state. Sure. 
since there's no staff to clean up after us. Yeah. Can we light it all on fire on our way out? I yeah, mean, yeah, you can try. It's a stone building. Kind of the middle of the oh. city, or ish. Also, yeah, I you... mean, it could easily spread. That yeah. that seems a little reckless. <laughs> also, you have the flaming fist. Uh, you guys are working for the flaming fist. <laughs> this is true. And a, a watch, uh, a guard watch with you. So All right, back to being serious now, I guess. <laughs> so you. Well, here's so now we got four chests, and I have that suit of armor that I need to drag out of here. Uh, Where's Not... the clothes? Is, is anybody familiar with this part of the city? Do you know where a blacksmith is that's nearby? Maybe I only have to drag it like a block. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually going to be a nice guy, and I'm going to put on your suit of armor for you, and I'm going to carry it that way. That house uh, kind of near the lower city. You I would probably can't know. put it on. It is fully fused together. I have to get a blacksmith to uh, unfuse it. I tried to help. So yep. exiting the building of the bathhouse... Uh, five figures leap down from the top of the courtyard wall to uh, very confrontational looking. Uh, in addition to their black leather armor, they wear strange masks and cloaks that give each of them a vaguely dragon-like appearance. All five are brandishing curved steel blades reminiscent of dragon claws. Their mask reminds you of because it is similar to the one you found in the treasure. Oh, the porcelain one? Mm hmm. It's similar. And uh, one of the figures, a male human, you think, um, steps up and says, Hello, my name is Altus. Hello, Altus. My name is Kairos. And please don't tell me you're going to try to stab us because seriously, we're really oh, tired. Hopefully not. Uh, that would be work for both sides here so let's try to resolve this you see um this treasure that you currently have is uh not yours and uh was stolen from tiamat and we are here to return it and stolen straight out of a vernus and we're going to we've been given instructions to commandeer it and uh well here's here's the problem you're you're 100 percent correct this is not our treasure i fully agree with you the problem is it it's currently the property of the flaming fist it needs to get tagged as and marked as evidence and probably going to get held in a room somewhere for i don't know six to nine months about um before someone not us figures out what to do with it we are just gonna skip that because this is tiamat's treasure specifically archon archon the cruel treasure and uh we need to take it right now um wait archon the cruel you follow someone named the cruel indeed he's quite an that? asshole oh okay That's we a follow unique choice Tiamat, uh, mainly, but there's a lot of middle management in between uh, us and them. So, yeah, just we'll let you go. Just leave everything here. Keep in mind, if you try to hide anything, we can sense where all this treasure is. What am I supposed to put in my report, though? Because, I mean, I, I got to... I'm going to take something back. I mean, got How about you guys stuff. come with us? No, that's not going to happen. We're going to take... Should we, let me just think uh, about what you could put in the report. Uh, a bunch I of... I mean, i got to be honest. I mean, you know you can't lie in these things. They, they well, don't. you can. Uh, you can just omit things that happened. Or if you absolutely have to be truthful here you can say that a bunch of people in black garb and masks right, took right, the right, treasure right. back so oldest oldest can i get your surname uh the cultist oldest the cultist <laughs> no, can, I, can i get your uh, your address of residence please uh five Paper. yeah sure five 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 <laughs> 
five, 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 right? And... <laughs> <laughs> Running with a full full hand. <laughs> Blank. Blank. Mm-hmm. Road Avenue. Blank Road Avenue. Is that is that lower city? I'm I'm pretty new to the city. I that's know. on the outer. That's outside of. That's in the outer. Uh... Outer city. Okay. Yes. All right. Outer city. Five 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 Blank Road. Hey, okay. wait, um, wait, wait. That's a made up address. No, it's how not. Close, how would how you... close are these guys paying attention to like? Which the chest that has the crowns in it? I'm wearing the crown. He's wearing the crown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I have not acknowledged in any way up to this point in the conversation. <laughs> so uh, he, he he turns to you, Jerry, and are you so are you doing an insight check or are you just saying that? Just saying that. Okay. He goes. It is. It's on the outside of the outer city. It's. Uh, do you spend a lot of time in the outer city? No, not really. I spent a lot of time in the the upper city. I'm with the watch. Oh, yeah. So you wouldn't. I haven't been up there. Not allowed, as uh, they keep most of the riffraff out. So, uh, I mean that that tracks from what I know. <laughs> most of my time would be in the lower and outer city. What would I know? I mean, it's pretty clear. <laughs> uh, once he said Road Avenue, I guess it's plausible that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's. Uh, those of you who want to make an insight check, and Ultus yes. the Cultist will make a stupid. Ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> deception check. <laughs> well, I guess since I said it, I should do it. 15. Because I need to know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to beat 15. Ooh. Yeah, 15 exactly. Matching the ridiculousness of the address, I rolled a 1. So... <laughs> <laughs> I love when the dice play along. Great. Yeah, so he's clearly lying. Uh... All right, well, here's the thing. We have an inventory of what was found here, so we'll, you can come collect. You got your address. Um, that, that's uh, not a real address. We don't live here. Well, well you just told <laughs> us you lived here. You, you just, just, you, you, just you believe that I lived here, but you didn't believe the address? Well, yeah. Yeah. It's a big place you could live here. Totally feasible. No. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weird people here. I mean, look at us. I mean, Baldur's yeah. Gate, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely. Uh, we actually saw on our way in here, funny story, we saw, you know how there's a mayor of Upper City? And did you know that there's like a an honorary mayor of Upper City? There's, did you know that there's a mayor of the Lower City? No, no, no idea. No clue. It's a dachshund. <laughs> Weird city, like I said. Strange place. So anyway, you said you lived. Actually, you said you were coming to Avernus. Can we get your uh, uh, your place of residence uh, in 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 Hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't laugh, but he goes uh, five five five. <laughs> he goes uh, the nine hells of Bator, Avernus. Right, right. Sure. And uh, how do you get there from uh, from here? If you it's it's like a right magic or finding a gate, or oh for sure yeah that makes, that makes sense. yeah but how do you you got one of those you, you got one of those handy here? Uh no. Um, the crowd does it. I don't we don't really get to call when we're just low level here. I just got promoted from the lowest level of Tiamat's cultists. And um, so I don't get to call when I get to go back. It's more like I gotcha. Okay. So, so you, and you, and you said you just got promoted. I totally get it. We're, we're, we're the little guys talking to little guys. Yeah. Do you guys you, get, you, you do you guys get paid? This... Do you guys get paid? I That's mean, a very good question. Yeah. This is part of our payment. Um, Okay, so ditto. Here's the thing. You said you could you can find 
all the stuff uh, you could track it all. Does that apply to every coin, every single one? Every coin, that crown, that mask, every vial, every everything, including the chest themselves. Jerry points Much to like, the flask. He's like, you do not want to drink these, man. I just trust me on that one. Oh, that's not part of the treasure. That was that's uh, that's not glowing right now. For is it glowing for you guys? And then they go, no. Oh, that was just in a crate. That wasn't one of the chests. Mm-hmm. Uh, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So we, we omit that we found, you know, boxes of stuff in our report. You omit that you found mm, us maybe 400 silver in your report. Oh, I can't do that. See, Tiamat will know. And listen, we hate the dead three. We're, we're right. They we stole like, this just... from us. And yeah. We really appreciate that I'm assuming you cleared him out since you were kind of nonchalantly walking out with this. Oh, stuff. right. We cleaned yeah. ourselves up. Yeah, we were covered in blood just a like, minutes ago. Right. Oh, you guys don't look healthy. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't look very... I mean, you guys look clean, but you don't look healthy. Like, you need a nap. Sorry, if that's offensive, I'm sorry, but... No, you're not wrong. We definitely do. I'm just saying, like, like, uh, game recognized game. We we did take care of that for you. Um, so maybe maybe these coins you can't do anything with, but maybe the coins in your pocket you could do something with. I mean, I've got one silver, guys. What do you got? Uh, what, what do you got? Wait, and they the start turning out their pockets. They're <laughs> 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 and there's like nothing in these guys pockets uh yeah he goes i've got this one silver which um you know we could sell like a ring i've got nothing sorry guys weapons right what if i if i agreed to like tell people that it was tiamat's could i could i keep the crown because i mean it looks i look at look at it It, it's glorious horns it, it it's framed by my horns. Perfectly. One of one of the other cultists uh, goes. That's disrespectful. You take that off right now. You take and Ultus goes and and like calms him down. Calm down. He doesn't he doesn't know. And um, Ultus the cultist says, uh, Yeah. So that's yeah. It's a little disrespectful if I'm being honest. Uh, oh. Uh, so sorry. that's part of the treasure is going to have to we didn't hire you to clear out the dungeon um number one number two um you're getting away here i don't know guys you think we could easily take the these these uh five bloodied and uh, you're still bleeding uh you're still bleeding over there too so you're just getting here out of here you might one of you might get out of here alive if you just make a break for it but yeah so that's kind of uh, you can't take right. any of the treasure. He flips the silver piece towards you guys. I I'm not even going to be able to buy dinner tonight, so uh I'm going to have to check and see if I can uh take some of this treasure and use it to buy dinner. So keep your silver and I just throw it back at his face. Okay. Uh keep your silver. Take your treasure. We'll come collect it later. Okay. Good luck with that. Anyways, uh, yeah, just lay it right there. I just <laughs> give him the death glare, and I take the crown off my head and just... I was going to invite you to come drink <laughs> with us. I drop it from this high. <laughs> drop it on the ground. And then the guy st- pipes up again. That's just respectful! You don't yeah, do that! It is. <laughs> you don't do that! And they're, like, holding him back. Or uh, says... <laughs> I was gonna invite you guys to come drink with us, but now I'm not so sure. Uh. They just look at you behind their masks. You can't really see their expressions, but they're just looking at you. Like, what is this guy? Is this guy joking? And uh you guys exit the bathhouse with none of your treasure. As other... we're leaving and we're walking away from them, they all have the same crowns on, right? The same masks. Or the oh, but they don't have any crowns on at all. Uh-uh. Uh uh-uh. Masks. I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna try to get a crown back with my mage hand. 
the suit of armor I could still be dragging, right? They didn't they didn't demand that. Nope. They did they as I walked away holding the vials of that red substance, did they notice I still have them? The red substance was found in D thirty two. I have the ones from D thirty two and then I have two red crystal vials from chest one and D thirty. The the crystal vials are part of the treasure, so they would have caught that. The other two they wouldn't have uh, cared about. The other four. The other four that were in 32. Yeah. Got it. And you only have one of those, I think, right? Some of you took the others. Uh, actually, we never said who, who okay. actually had them. So Jarvis has them because he has to figure out what they are. Yeah, I mean, it's he. they can clearly tell what's part of the treasure yeah it's it's uh it's pretty remarkable and you're confident that there's magic involved so um yeah and they're not ask they're not trying to hey that mall is part of the treasure they're not trying to like be stupid about taking other stuff um gotcha lame well if he realized that i had it they truly do know they can track it so yeah. Yeah. He's going to try to mage hand that crown away. From yeah, me. even if it was in your pocket, he would just be like, you've got a couple. Cool. Yeah. So I, I, then I do give him those step back then. Okay. Fortunately. All right. Well, grudgingly give them their treasure. We're still getting paid, at least. Zodge yeah, did we... say he would pay us. That's true. We should, we should we can collect from Zaj uh, tomorrow, though. Yeah, guys, tomorrow. Should yeah. we go back to Elf Song? I mean, I can probably I I can stay in the barracks. I don't know about you guys. I cannot stay in the barracks. How long did I? I guess I only negotiated one room for Elf Song, huh? Or one night. Yeah. We don't have that anymore. Well, here. How about this, guys? I can probably uh, rather than the barracks, I can probably uh, finagle our way into a safe house or something like that, where we could all sleep in there. Um, and I would find the closest guard post and leverage my safe haven feature from my background. Nice. Um, yeah. And use that to... Uh, What's the feature say? Uh, as a faction agent, you have access to a secret network of supporters and operatives. It would be the Flaming Fist for me. Uh, you know a set of secret signs and passwords you can use to identify such operatives who can provide you with access to a hidden safe house, free room and board, or assistance in finding information. Yep. You guys have your room and board. Uh, you find it easily enough. It's just a humble house in Baldur's Gate. Uh, as you guys are traversing the city, just like you're used to, it's it's... The fog rolls in in Baldur's Gate, so what makes it so perfect for murders is that the fog rolls in and it stays, it doesn't really go into the upper city all that often uh, because of the uh, topographical difference in uh, height. And so the whole lower city just gets rolled in from the coast up the river with fog and People, you hear just murder screams and um, all torp all types of horrible sounds, um, and it's not surprising to hear those things. Um, people are vicious in this city, and uh, will take advantage of whatever they can think they can take advantage of, um, and the fog helps that. So, um, yeah, you guys find the place take your long rest anything you'd like to do <clears throat> no just sleep yeah just sleep okay change my spells yep so you guys have your long rest mark it off it's actually my first time playing a cl class that resets spells on long rest it's exciting <laughs> <laughs> and you have breakfast in the morning. The nice thing about these safe houses is they stock them with eggs. Nothing else. I mean, it's just <laughs> eggs. But every single one of them <laughs> consistently has eggs. It's I don't know how the fist does it. It's incredible. You open the, the cupboards, and it's just lined with eggs, and there's little wooden cutouts for the eggs as well. So they're not like just... They're actually in 
cartons, wooden cartons, kind of designed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, where are the hatcheries in this city? You'd think we'd all know because they stink, but never seen them. Not That's the real mystery. Yet eggs. So anyway, right, I'll cook them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you cook them? I'm just curious. That's. Um. Well, I. Uh... How would Kairos cook eggs? I can't. Let me check one thing. Actually, I need to see if something is capable. A cantrip or something. Yep, my cantrip. My one cantrip. Oh no, that that's not gonna help me at all. <laughs> I cook them over green flames. And that's the green only special flame. thing about it. Alright. Where are you guys heading? Captain well, Zodge. We got to see Captain Zodge, but um I this thing was a pain to drag over here the entire time we walked through the city. I had like the arms of the the, the shoulders. Yep pulled over and it was just dragging behind me so i mean if there's a blacksmith on the way to zaj that'd be stellar and i just need to re-up on arrows i think it's one silver for 30. yeah right. you can find that easily there's enough. a fletcher next to every blacksmith indeed fail. yes so uh you find a blacksmith and what do you want to have him do just break the welds or uh break the welds and fit it or okay. rather, see how much he wants to charge for breaking the wounds and fitting it, since I don't have that much money. Sure. So you find a, a dwarf in the city covered in soot, and uh, he says, uh, Do you want me to re refurbish this armor for you? It's weirdly... Was it ornamental armor? It's entirely possible. I mean, it seems sturdy enough, so I thought it was worth, you know, dragging out here and, and seeing if you could do something with it. The gauntlets, funnily enough, um, hit us in the face. Oh. On our own. Uh, but the rest of it seemed like sturdy armor, and those gauntlets, they, 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 they were sturdy, so I figured the whole thing would hold true. Yeah, so he starts examining it, and I guess it could work. How, mu how much is the plate armor like in the full, full plate or the other one i think there's one i can't remember what's less than full full plate is 1500 gold or there's ha half half plate yeah what did i okay. tell you this was uh you didn't specify okay so there's full plate uh the one down from that in heavy armor is splint and that's 200 and then chain mail is what i have and that's 75 and that half was found in armor. D12. We'll say it's half plate. How much was half plate? Half plate is medium armor and it's 750. Okay. Looking up in the dungeon section what it is. Here he goes. I don't know that it'll hold up to a real big strike. Um, it seems pretty thin. I'd have to reinforce it when I break these welds. I've got a cheap set of half plate, if you're interested. It's 500 gold. No, I don't think the half plate's going to do it for me. Um, so what's the going rate for a set of uh, welded together ornamental armor if say you were interested in buying it for anything you could get off of it <laughs> i might just melt this down and uh i'd give you five gold five gold is more than i had yesterday so have a set of welded together armor he oh, that sucks <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he takes it and throws it in the corner with a bunch of other scrap metal and uh Gives you five gold. Well, it was a gamble, but I got five gold out of it. Better All right, well, no more carrying that around. That's better, and we don't have to carry those chests around. So to Zaj we go. Off to Zaj we go. Okay. Just want to double check your exact instructions. 
Oh, I'm muted. Ha, huh, that's why you can't. I'm like, is everyone just ignoring me? Hey, Kairos, uh, you have that those those gold necklaces in that ring. We sh should we sell those too? Uh, we do. We should probably drop our jeweler. I also have this sack of gems. Um, well, we know it was, it was jewelry. It wasn't a sack of gems. Uh, the ones we picked up off uh, Dead Eye. Yes. So yeah. keep. Uh, so you you were told by Zaj to take care of the cultists. Yes. Um. And. Yeah, so uh, Amric was telling them what to do. You're not sure if you were told to kill the cultists and wipe out their lair. So who knows what Zaj will say? Um, like if it, if he'll consider this a half-completed gig or if he'll be cool with it. Do you guys want to still check it out? And if we cleared out the lair. We did. I mean, if he was saying clear out the cultists entirely out of the city, I mean, then we got to go to... to Find you know, more cultists. I mean, now we, to Duke. We, maybe we should have killed Ultis. He's a cultist. He is a cultist. I mean, at the very least, we have to report that back. I mean... He's not a dead three really cultist, like... which is the cultist you were told to take oh, care okay. of. I and, thought it was just a general cultist. And Mortlock... And Mortlock told you that Amric runs the Lair cultists and pays them through Thalamra. So that's why I'm kind of just under the table telling you this, in case mm -hmm. you, just to remind you of what you were told. Well, yeah, I mean, it, you guys talk it out. brother is, like, related to some powerful people in the city, correct? Right, I mean, if we chase this all the way up from what Mortlock was saying, we're talking about deposing a duke and a rather powerful one in the city at that who's yeah. vying for I grand I think we should maybe ditchy. get Zodge's opinion on whether we should just go murder the brother or how does he want to go about this because it's also kind of a political deal at this point. It definitely is with the way the, the Flaming fl Fist leadership is right now. And also, up in the, air. the cultists are undermining the Flaming Fist completely that's their yeah. goal yeah so yeah, we, we gotta let them know about this that there's some i mean also think about it what else did we find we found one of the jasso family that other servant of the jasso family that was being interrogated someone being interrogated about the othoons i mean they're trying to yeah. get their fingers into every pie in the city and kill all of them all the pies murdered mm -hmm. um zaz should know flaming fish should know yeah i agree so let's just at least go talk to Zaj. At least go talk to him. All right, so you go back to the gate uh, where you found Zaj, and he is still there dealing with refugees. And uh, he's got his hand wrapped up, which is about the only change. Uh, punching people might have broken his hand. Uh, he turns around and he says, Did you do the job? Of course we did the job. Look at how much blood is on my mall. What'd you find out? Oh, we found out quite a bit. Um, so Mortlock Van Thamper was down there. Uh, that was an interesting run-in. He's a, he's a pretty stand-up guy, but um, apparently his family's trying to kill him because they're running the show as far as the dead three cultists go. That's the big whammy. Uh, we found some servants. The Van the Thampers? Paso. Yeah, yeah, the the Duke Thalambra. Thalambra the yeah, the one with the huge forearms. Yeah, she's yeah. trying to screw the Flaming Fist over completely. Is really their end goal. Uh, not to bury the lead there. But screw, I... screw us over and well, get the way driven she... out of the city. Exactly. If the Dead Three kind of undermine the whole uh, Flaming Fist and makes you makes us all, you know, uh, in they'll run us out of here. They'll run us out of here, and then she, you know, has the freedom to take over the Grand. Uh, Grand Duchy. I mean, to hear Morlock tell it, she convinced Raven Guard to go to El Torel, and then all uh. right. So exactly. where, where'd Mortlock go? 
Uh, well, he's bugging out of the city because, again, his whole family is trying to kill him. Um, oh, reasonable I reaction. Yeah, I don't blame him. I tried to collect um, uh, a place of residence to reach him, but unfortunately, again, he, he doesn't have an address at this time. Did you see if he wanted to, you know, work with us to uh, uh, get back at his family? Yeah, we tried, and he was kind of yeah, like, nah. I recommended him coming back to the fist and not interested. Did you? I don't think you did. Oh, did I just think that? Y I did you think guys it. didn't, because I would have had you roll a persuasion. Uh... <laughs> I, I thought it. thought it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Well, no, I mean, he's not affiliated with the Fist. I just figure we uh, we could try to find him, I guess. Uh, we'll, I don't we'll think it matters. He could be gone by now. Yeah, but it's a big city. That's probably reasonable. Or we, murdered. We do know a lot his here. brother is running the... Amric? Cultists. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, he's... he's... running the cultist currently. And he is down at the Low Lantern. Oh, can we get a standing order in the city for all Flaming Fists to kill any imp they see on site? Uh, the other brother. He uses imps as spies in the city. Sure. All over. Imps on site? Ice them. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, send that up the line and... Uh down the line uh where'd you see these imps oh we didn't uh that was another tip from Mortlock. are they invisible uh that's about uh thermwell his other brother the thirstwell one. thirstwell it's the and worst the name one. ever <laughs> he uh they're apparently his imps um did he say they're invisible is that what Morlock said i can't remember no he didn't he just he didn't said mention. there and you guys didn't see him he said there's one yeah. There was he likes to have one at the um at the bathhouse. At the bathhouse. You did not see an imp, which we didn't really look for an imp either. We didn't. Nope. Uh I don't know if they're invisible, just all we know is they use imps as spies. Yeah, I'll send can, them down. We can cut up that cut their eyes out of the city, of course that's great. Well, I mean uh Amrick is I've seen how the Lamra has dealt with with her kids and she clearly likes Amrick the most. Yeah. That's what Morlock said. He's the favorite. So is there any value in going down to Low Lantern and uh you know that was the plan, kind of strong arming Amrick a little bit. Maybe seeing if we can uh, hamstring their operations through the through the tavern. I, uh, if you want us to go over after a duke, I mean, we I suppose we can. Seems a little over our pay grade for what you're currently paying us. So wants to get rid of the flaming fist to right. become the grand duke, right? And do what? just rule the city or what does that have to do with El Terrell in sending Raven Guard to El Terrell? Well, if she knows what happens there, what happened there, who knows? This could have been all. What did Mortlock say about that? Just that she convinced him to go there. I mean, I'm seems suspicious. Mortlock also told you that, uh, uh, El Terrell disappeared. Mm -hmm. Was sent to. I think he actually said was sent to hell. That's not a um, a big surprise in terms of meta knowledge. But um, well, then I convey that that she sent him to El Terrell, and somehow the Van Thampers know that El Terrell was teleported to hell. Yeah, Mortlock was very worried about the uh, Baldur's Gate being taken to hell as well. So, uh, Zodge goes, well, I don't want to go to hell. Um, we're busy here taking care of this crisis still, and I don't know how much longer. I'll try to get another group together, but you're all we got right now, and I promise you it'll be worth your time eventually once all this calms down. You will get nothing if she has her way, though. Let, yeah, it sounds like we're, none of us will if, if that's that. No, we'll probably be dead. 
So, right. like, you're still deputized as as Flaming Fist, so... Speaking of the uh, deputization that's going on, um, when do our first paychecks come through? Well, do you want... Mm-hmm. I can give you part of your reward right now. I... Yeah, I mean, it just... It, it probably would go to to resources we, we need to use to pursue the end of this, so that'd be handy. Okay, so it was 200... No idea. I never write down... What you each receive <laughs> 200 gold pieces uh, and his gratitude, which is worth considerably more. He gives you each 50 gold, so mark down that you got 50 of your 200. Got it. Thank you. And he just says, do you have... I mean... You've cut a significant. You've made a significant blow to their operation here by taking out that dungeon, that area there. So they're going to have much less manpower and be disorganized for a while. Uh, this may be the time to strike. I would agree. Um, yeah, and then we'll go check out what uh, what what their operation is like at Low Lantern, and uh, follow the trail from there. Okay. All right, sounds good. I got to get back to... Get off the wall! Get off the wall! And just starts yelling. Oh, by the way, uh, do you know anything about cultists of Tiamat? Because that's another cultist group that we're dealing with, too. They don't like the Dead Three. We ran into them. There was some treasure. Why do they hate the Dead Three? Uh, They stole their treasure. Dead Three stole their treasure. We took that treasure. They stole that treasure from us. But it was their treasure. From hell? We're really tired. That's what they said. Uh, I got the address here. Uh, Nine Hells of Bator Avernus. Well, I don't know where that is. Um... That's that's the address they got. I, I can I tear it out, and I gave them, give them that sheet. One uh, of the... the address on top is their address here in Baldur's Gate, somewhere in the outer city. One of the... No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> One of the um, people trying to leave the city right next to Zaj when uh, he hears Nine Hells of Bator. He goes, it's on a different plane, you moron! And then he scurries off <laughs> to the to keep trying to get up. To, uh, keep right, trying it to get is up. on a different plane of hell. They did say that uh, you get there with magic or a gate and that there isn't a gate here, so we got that going for us. No gate to hells in Baldur's Gate. It's cool, right? Well, I don't think El Terrell had a gate to hell either. I mean, that place had a freaking was holy or something. I don't know. They always said it was blessed and undead couldn't be caught in the city because of the their glowing thing and that was always glowing. You know, Zaj, my day, it started out up here and you're just, you're, you're bringing me down here. You're, you're right. They didn't have a gate. Uh, I guess we could get one spontaneously at any time. Now I have that to think about. <sighs> so... <laughs> To the uh, Low Lantern, then? To the Low Lantern. You guys head off to the Low Lantern. Uh, You have your map there. As you go, it's still early morning, so as you arrive, fog obscures the Low Lantern until you get within 100 feet of it. That's how thick this fog is. Whereupon its tall masts and creaking bulk come into view. Apparently it's a boat. The converted ship has rigging but no sails and is anchored to the wharf by thick chains. A wooden staircase climbs from the wharf's edge to the main deck. A lantern at the bow casts an eerie green light to signify that the tavern is open for business. I broke up plenty of fights in places like these. You just gotta make yourself real big as you walk in, and then they won't give you any shit. Come on, boys. Don't rock the boat. So as you enter, I will post the map, but there's only six people in this place.
So yeah, the tavern deck is where you find these uh, people. And uh, yeah, when you uh, get down to the tavern deck, you see a uh, female human at the bar and uh, one of her Kenku servers um, is dropping off some dirty plates and is just going, Captain, Captain. In kind of a child's voice. Uh, Jarvis, I believe you said uh, Nebra is buying our drinks today. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, what do you guys want? That round. Ale for me is fine. Ale for everyone? I'll have an orc wine, please. Their you finest glass of milk. You sure you don't want anything that's, say, on fire? Alright. It's uh, a good one. You're funny. Uh, orc wine will be... No, I learned my lesson, man. Orc wine... I don't even know if we have that. But... If we do, it'll be a silver. The ale is four copper, and she tells one of her servers to go check for the orc wine. The milk will be four copper as well. Yeah, you... I just I just made 50 today, so feeling pretty flush. 50 copper, he's talking about. He's real flush. <laughs> it's not the place, Jared. It's you, not the place. You said the ale is four copper? <laughs> yeah. All right, so for eight... I had her 16 copper and a silver. Uh, she says, thank you. What are your that's names, fun. by the way? My name is Lorelora. Fuck, that's a hard name to say. Lorelora? L-A-R-A-E-L-R-A. Lorelora. Lorelora, my name is Kairos. Lorelora. Lorelora. I'm sure she hears a lot of that. Uh, that's, when... that's why you're a bartender. It just makes you slur. Mm hmm. My name uh, is Jarvis. That's an easy name. Jarvis, and as she's getting your names, a little crab climbs up from her back onto her shoulder um, and just sits there. Oh, my spider. Jarvis. Uh, Rollercoast. Rollercoast. Jerry. Jerry. Kairos. Yeah, that's the name. Uh, and, and and as long as we're doing introductions, what's what's this? Uh, your your bird friend. What's his name? It's a crab. The Kenku. Well, oh. Your the crab has a name. I <laughs> I was gonna point it out. I didn't know if you knew it was there. <laughs> got a crab on your shoulder. Uh, the uh, Lorelora says, uh, "That's speak, and that one's uh, fluff." And uh, don't you guys be trying. I really don't care if you start a fight in here, but you're gonna pay for the damage if it does occur. And we have bouncers doing rounds. So, why does I... it seem like everyone tells us this when we go somewhere? We, I, I mean, tell everyone this. I, it's I, Baldur's I it. Gate. <clears throat> well, we're just gonna. Um, Did you say your crab's name was Fluff? No, the my servers. It's Fluff and Speak, and then my crab's name is. I don't have a name for it. It's just Crab. Good to know. And you said oh, there were six it. people in here. Who else is in there? You see a. You see uh, bouncers doing the rounds. Um, they're all wearing similar similar uh, garb. You see a d uh, dark-skinned dwarf with a uh, gruff look, uh, just enjoying an ale by himself. You see a human... A drunk human guy in the corner, uh, barely keeping his eyes open, and uh, up here, make a uh, 
Kairos make a mm, intelligence check. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a rolled four for a whopping three. Yeah, even though there's this guy in there with like a flaming fist badge on, he's he's drunk and there's throw up on his front, so maybe it's obscuring it a little. But there's the other the other three of you see this guy. Uh, he's a human. Um, he's in a similar drunken state, and that's all you see currently. Um, as we're as we're going to take a table or something, walking away from the bar with our drinks, I, I lean over to Jarvis. And, Jar Jarvis, you, you're a spider, buddy. You're you're a spider, bro. Does he? Do you give him a name? No, actually, I never I never came up with a name for him. Uh, I just couldn't help but notice that the bartender, Lorela, L- 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 um, <laughs> she, uh, the crab sits on her shoulder like the spider sat on your shoulder. You notice that, right? It's pretty yeah. hard to miss. Yeah. Here's the thing that I'm kind of struggling with. What you can do, say you were going to charge someone money to do what you do, you can make a good amount of money per day, right? Yeah, probably. Why would you work as a bartender? Hmm, it's a good question. You don't think it's just a regular crab and she's crazy? No. I've never seen a crab hang out with a human like that. Crabs don't yeah. have feelings. Just can't compare it to a cat. Seems like she keeps I mean, it around to keep her eyes on things. That's what I use mine for. If you guys want, I can talk to the crab. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, Jerry. See if you can get the crab like away from her and talk to the crab a little bit. That's it. That's brilliant. Old um, See what I can... the crab knows. Jerry, <laughs> he, <laughs> he picks he picks a, a couple little bits of like fish shit that was in that that was like it's like in his like clothes and he like picks it out and he tries to like he tries to like get the get the crab interested in it he's like it rotates a tad and that's about it get crabby get crabby please don't it's not going to <laughs> eat what you're offering it please don't so he can't <laughs> He can just cast. I mean, he'll just cast. Uh, uh, speak with speak with animals. Okay. And uh, says, how does that work? Uh, I believe I. I don't know. I don't think it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> last for ten minutes. I can speak to. Uh, let's see. You gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. So ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't say anything. Like I, there's no. I don't think I have to roll anything. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. No. That that answered what I was thinking. Uh, so you start talking to it using speak with animals, and you don't hear anything back. It's always hey. doing this. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, hey, he's not saying anything. Hey, crab. Uh... <laughs> Do you have a do you have a name other than Crab? Your your friend here didn't didn't give you a name. You get nothing. He's not saying anything back, guys. I don't know if I don't know if that's really a crab. I saw you cast a spell. Are you trying to talk? What? what... Yeah, I just like I'm just trying to talk to your crab. That's it. I'm just trying to. Well, please don't. Why not? Because this is my establishment, and I asked you nicely not to. You did? I don't remember that. <laughs> I was sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I had a rough uh, couple past couple days, so you know how it goes in the adventuring business. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to walk up to her as well. And so, so this this crab of yours, um, is it? Why it are you guys so you? interested in my crab? I mean, not everyone just has a crab just, you know, hanging out. I mean, is is this crab uh, your is are you is this your familiar? Yeah. And and what's uh 
the lady like you running a bar with a uh, familiar? What kind of uh, what kind of magic do you know? I'm making money running a bar and gambling den, and uh, what kind of magic I know? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. What kind of magic do you know? A little on. bit of this and a little bit of that. Hold on. Did you say? Gambling den, where would that be, and how do I get it? <laughs> I'm with roller coaster. <laughs> I just we I mean we just got we just got paid. Yeah, so she says, uh, "Oh, that'll be." Well, there's some tables downstairs. People play anywhere, really, but uh, mainly downstairs uh, is where people play. Like to play. Uh, I mean, it's a bit early in the day, but is anyone playing right now? And any, any any games going? I think there's a uh, if you notice, print my, and my, my buddy's hand it's shaking a little bit. The claws just keep coming in and out. You're like kneading the uh, kneading. Yeah. the uh, the bar top. Uh, <laughs> she says, uh, "Yeah, I think Joran's down there with uh, Prin and these two Drow are really." excited drow they're twins kind of obnoxious but uh i think they're down there gambling um i'm not sure though i mean sounds well sounds cool. i am gonna take my milk and just head that way okay i'll go down with you don't forget your drink oh i'm home I probably already finished it, to be frank. So there's oil lanterns lining this room, eight foot high ceiling. Um, it's a windowless deck. And... Walking downstairs, once we're down there, uh, I'm, I'm looking around, especially in like the corners of the room for imps. Make a perception check. Nope. That's a three. Yeah. You see <laughs> some crows on, like, the... Um, actually, you don't see crows because there's no windows. But, um, yeah, you don't see anything okay. unusual. You see three bouncers. These are the same. Is there anything that looks on the way there that looks like an office? Like anybody's guarding a door or anything? Um... Yeah, you see a, uh, it's in plain sight, you see that a fellow dressed in black with a cloak and fur, a fur-lined cloak is in the, it's turned a pair of couches around and is using a coffee table as kind of his, he's kind of spread out his stuff. It's near the aft wall. Um, he looks like that could be an office, and uh, yeah. Just in case I wanted to smuggle out some paperwork or something. Yeah, so um, he's by himself. He's got his feet on the table. He's just kind of looking around calmly. All right. Try to talk to him. Uh... I'm, I'm going to proceed to the gambling pen for the time being. Uh, yeah, so you see some people there. and they're playing, um, they're playing, uh, Baldur's Dice or whatever it's called. The same game they were playing in, uh, Elf Song. Uh, if there's room at the table, I would like to sit down. There is. It's the three, it's the four people that L'Rael mentioned. Um, two drow. A human is kind of keeping quiet. Uh, and a halfling kind of humming some sort of sea shanty. And uh, you sit down and they nod their heads, and the two drow go, 
Oh, I don't think I've ever seen... Are you... Are you Tabaxi? Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. Cool. What, what are your fellows' names? Are they, are they like men or women, or is it too hard to tell? Because they are... Uh, it's too hard to tell, but they're drow, and they're kind of obnoxious, awkward... And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they say, oh, this is, this is a Aerith, and I'm Belden. So, whoa, I, I, so cool, right? Yeah, and they're talking to each other, and, um, they're not gambling at the moment, it looks like. They're just kind of watching excitedly everyone play. Do you want to play? Yes. I don't sit down at the table. I just stand <clears throat> behind Adrilakosha's shoulder. Okay. Watching the game. One sec. Let me check something. Uh, one of the things behind the guy who kind of made with the furry cloak and was in an office type uh, area. There's a, another large man with red hair and a ponytail partially falling asleep behind the guy. And uh, as you guys sit down, a creepy little, I think I have a picture, one sec. <sighs> it's supposed to be easy to go through these. Here we go. As you guys sit down, um, kind of from the aft um, ceiling, this thing flies down onto... I don't know which way I had it. Flies down onto the guy's shoulder and kind of sits there. Interesting. It's a spine devil. How big is it? It's small, I think. I lean forward and just whisper in Relicosa's ear like, is that an imp? I just like give him a shrug like, <laughs> I was gonna ask you, like, how would you know what an imps look like when you were? I don't. Yeah, but since you rolled so low, I was like, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, so b back to the dice game. Uh, there's a five silver ante for the pot that you throw in. That's it. Correct. Each player rolls three dice. Play then proceeds clockwise around the table with the host of the game going last. We'll say that... Jaren is the, the human. Uh, the shy guy not saying much. Jaren is the host. Uh, did you roll? No, it's a D sixes, correct? Three, yeah, three. Uh... I'm keeping an eye out for cheating, Slate, like they're if they're faking their dice in some way. It's just blackjack. We're trying to hit twenty one, right? Yep. Okay. And I am just gonna keep going. While they're playing this game, um, I do want to end, finish, wrap up my conversation with uh, oh, Laure I bust. Laurella, and I want to um, go into, like, maybe find a restroom somewhere where I can go and quietly cast uh, Detect Magic. Okay. Um, let me look for the bathroom. And I'm. I can ask her where the restroom is when I'm done talking to her too. 
I'll yep. do that. I assume you do. So I'm Jake yeah. doesn't know where the bathroom is, so. Yeah. You just hang off the side of the boat at the top. I was that was my first thought. <laughs> that was my first thought. So I mean any dark corner will do. Yeah, she says, uh, usually people just pee off the top deck. All right, thank you. So when you go back up there, you see uh, a couple dead seagulls, and um, another one falls next to you uh, <laughs> as you're peeing. You look up, and you see a couple ravens on the crow's nest uh, chilling up there. One of them's mm -hmm. watching you. It's... Yeah. Nope. Not going to do that here. Go back uh, low deck. Look okay. for some, some place where I can just quietly... She, uh... Lorea Lara. She says, well, uh, I don't know if there's... You want to buy a room? Oh, I'm just walking around at this point. I didn't go back up to her. Oh, okay. I Yeah, I, after I went to the bathroom, I'm just kind of going to wander around and uh, maybe go down towards because they're on the I'm on tavern deck and yeah, you, they're on lounge deck you went topside to pee and then you went back down to tavern and they're on lounge deck um, I'm just going to walk uh, downstairs and just wander around for a little bit um, to lounge any, deck? if I go to the lounge deck is there any like it's pretty open I assume no like Yes, it Blind is. Spots. Nope. Just as you see it there, there's no walls, there's no... Got it. Cool. Um, and then I'll ask her how much it is for a room. Well, I guess I kind of wreck on that a little bit and ask her while I was still up there. Sorry. Yeah. Um, she says, well, what do you... You want like a full room? Because we got beds with just curtains. I'm just looking to take a nap. I'm a little tired. Was up late last night. So which My one do you gambling. want? gambling. I'll take it. Huh? Which one do you want? The one with the curtains, or do you want like a room? Just the curtains will do. Okay, that's gonna be. So you just want it for the night, or a couple just... hours? No, a couple hours is good. Give me just two copper. Apple. Cool, beautiful. Two copper is all yours. She uh sends you down there, and uh says it's the uh first bed on the right as you go down there thank you very much you're welcome and i go down there and i'm just going to um can i i'd like uh i want to kind of look around a little bit before i go in actually no i'm just going to go in there and cast my detect magic okay we'll go back to gambling joran yeah. wins the gambling anything else jerry um, I mean, I wouldn't mind talking to the Kenku. Okay. You, what do you, you just... Okay. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just go. They don't speak like Prodi. Yeah, I know, I know. I was just, just, just curious. Okay, you can. No, nah, it's okay. I'm okay. good. All right. Uh, so... Roller coaster. I'm just gonna say, like, we're not gonna role play every hand yeah. of gambling. Yeah. How many do you want to play? I'll just do like three. Okay. Um, why don't we say that? What did I say the ante was? Five. Five. Roll a d20 and tell me what you get. All right. I'm still making sure the other guys aren't cheating. Make a uh, perception check. 11. Okay. You don't think so. 7. It's all above board. You lose both hands. All right. And, uh, yeah, back to you, Jarvis. You cast Detect Magic. Um, actually, sorry, I meant to. I've realized the casting time. I was doing it in the wrong order. <laughs> I have to cast Find Familiar before I cast uh, Detect Magic. Because that one's a longer cast. Find Familiar is like an hour, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. 
So you're going to take an hour? Yeah. And All I'm right. going to cast a message to them that I'm doing that. Excellent. Good thought. Um, yeah. Then we'll go back up to these guys. What do you guys want to do? After seeing Rollercoast lose uh, a couple times, I just say, I'm going to I'm gonna go check on Jarvis. I saw him go uh, down below. Uh, that was weird. This was before he, did... he messaged us. Oh. Um, I'm just using it as an excuse to go downstairs. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Jerry, Jerry pats Rollercoast on the shoulder, and he's just like, so proud of you for, for like losing like that and then just getting up from the table. You've come a long way, Rollercoast. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get a handle on it, but uh, I still get the itch. When uh, you're doing that, the gentleman in the cloak with fur collar comes up and says, Ah, oh, bad streak of luck, I see. Yeah, it happens. If you need any extra cash, we do some lending over there. In the corner, we'll be over there. Uh, please I'm come sorry, talk to what us. What was your name? I'm Amrick. Amrick. Um, yeah, I might be over there to talk to you in a, in a little bit. I just want to see what my buddy's up to, see if he wants to gamble or what's going on with him. Yeah, excellent. And he goes back to sit down. The, the spine devil is perched on the couch now. And, uh, yes. Kairos? As, as I go down to guest quarters... Um, I do another cursory look around for imps. Again, not knowing. Uh, Perception check. Like. <laughs> 18 this time. Don't see any imps. All right. Um, I start walking up to each curtain and just kind of peeling it back a little bit. I see uh, Jarvis casting a spell, and I feel very uncomfortable about it. Um, but it's, I feel like I'm invading his, his space while he's burning incense uh, or doing whatever he's doing. Uh, is are there are there anyone else occupying the beds right now? Mm. Or is there anyone else down in that guest quarters? Yeah. Deck? So this the this area of the ship is kind of leaky with water, and there's puddles throughout. It smells of vomit and urine. Um. In the bow, there's four hammocks. And there's one unconscious drunk in uh, one of the hammocks. Um, I start looking around, namely in like the away from the bunk, so like around the stairs, around the back of the ship. Um, I start looking around for secret compartments or anything of that like. Investigation check. Once I'm done talking to Amrick, I'm going to head down there and look for them so I can talk to them real quick. 13 for that. Do you not find it much? Oh, it's God, it sticks down here. I run into roller coaster on the stairs going back up. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just gonna like stop, hold on, go back down so we can talk. It's too many ears down. out there. Yeah, there's a lot of ears. No imps though. Good to know. So uh, Jarvis is doing a ritual. Yeah. Uh, so the dude in the fur coat up there, that's Amrick. Jerry, that's are Amrick? you staying up top? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gambling his life away. That's Amrick? He doesn't look anything like Morlock. Yeah, I know. But he came up and introduced himself to me. Apparently they do some kind of like Monday lending services so that... You know, oh. They can steal even more money from you that you're gambling. Well, it's all money laundering, is what Morlock said. It's the yeah. He runs in, so gotta exchange it. Makes sense. They lend. So if we uh, want to get a conversation with him, we could go in with the guise of needing money. That we could. That we could. I don't know what he'd give up though. What what could we learn from him really? I mean, we're gonna have to probably shake him down. I could ask him about uh, silk credit. You're totally like not there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jerry thinks to himself. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Yeah, I mean, we probably we probably do got to shake him down. We should uh we should collect the others and uh well I 
Jarvis is doing something behind the curtain. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't told. I I told doing. you guys what I. Was oh, doing. you did. You told us. Yeah. Uh, Jar Jarvis. And is I told you how long. Stuff. I like take a look around in the curtain just to like see what he's doing. And you see incense, like he said, you see the incense burning. I'm like, oh, that's fucking weird. And I just like close it. And should we just wait for him? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we can. It's be, be kind of weird if we all came down here after running uh one bed and just stayed down here for several hours. People might talk. We should probably head back up. <laughs> How much time has they given well, we gambling while I was down here? If I went not too long after they went. 30 minutes. Cool. Uh, well, we'll go up. Unless something, go back to the unless lounge. somebody wants to do something, um, we'll mingle about. Uh, yeah. Have another ale. Okay. Wait for Jarvis. Knock off how many ales you're going to have and knock off the uh, yep. cost. Four copper each. Uh, you're going to wait for Jarvis. 30 minutes, Jarvis comes up. Did I ever uh, get that orc wine? Before, before you I can, actually... You, oh, sorry. you can check on it. Uh, and uh, Lorelra says, yes, we've, we have one bottle. Uh, it's going to be uh, silver, though. So Sounds good. I'm flush with cash. Thanks for um, telling me. All right, well, uh, Relicos, I, I think you're taking point on this one. Oh boy. Before I come back upstairs, since I'm done with that, um, I'd like to use my, um, I'd like to send my spider. I'm going to send him, you said there was one room without curtains that has a door behind it, right? Or oh, keeping it closed. Yes. So, okay. okay. Yeah. So where are you going to, you want to send him under? Yep. And I'm going to stealth. Last time my spidey got seen. So, um... 16. Okay. And uh, you get in there, and it's furnished like a guest cabin, bed, wardrobe, empty desk, a chair. There's an oil lantern hanging from a hook. Uh, Does it look like it's a room that they rent out, a room that someone's currently, like, occupying? It definitely looks like a room that they rent out. Okay, but not occupied currently. Currently it is not. Okay. Um. He's just going to do a little sneaky sneaky around the room, see if he can find any Investigate. passageways. I don't think Spider has a modifier. She'll, I know he has no CSL. Sorry, one sec. Uh, um, investigation is intelligence. Oh, he has no intelligence. That's cool. Uh, 11 you don't find anything cool and I do one more thing before I go back upstairs it's only 10 minutes of casting I'm gonna cast the tech magic before I go back up okay you cast the tech magic uh, and go back upstairs after you cast tech magic there's nothing down there there is the creature the uh, spine devil on the couch glowing a little bit and that's about it. Cool. The Spine Devil is not... Uh, oh, that's right. That was familiar. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll rejoin my party. Okay. And what were you guys keeping saying? An eye, also keeping an eye on the Spine Devil. I... I yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Talk to Amrick? Real quick, uh, Kairos. How do you want me to go about this? Do we want to be just real blunt and direct and be like, what the fuck do you know where we're going to take this place down and murder him? Or... Well, we could do that. We could present ourselves as Flaming Fist defectors um, and see if we can get employed by him. Learn more about his operation that way. We could. This Undermine it from inside. Um, or we could just uh, smash his face in. I'm more of a smashes face, and it's much simpler. I uh, I generally am too. I was just gonna stand behind you and wait wait for that to happen if it needed to. Jarvis, thoughts? Um, you're there too, Jerry. Okay. Jerry, thoughts? 
I could go either way. I mean, this place is excessively flammable. Yeah, no, very, very flammable. And, uh, there's not too many armed guards in here. No, just a few bouncers. I mean, there's a devil, but he looks small. Jerry just goes, I'm feeling healthy. And he, like, he, like, twirl, he, like, kind of does that neck, neck cracking stretch. He's just like, I'm feeling good. I could crack some skulls tonight. And he's I mean, drinking, he's drinking the orc wine. It's making him, making him more violent. I mean, our only concern is really uh, retaliation if uh, Amor gets away. Or if he doesn't get away, his mother's retaliation. Uh, I mean, if they there's know... no survivors, they'll never know who it was. I don't know. There's an imp outside of the bathhouse. They saw, they, the imp saw us go in. That's what Morlock said. We, we got to be tagged already. So yeah. It also we... seems like there might have been, when I, when, we were t when I was top deck, it might have seemed like a Raven was keeping an eye on me. Definitely something, something as suspicious of us. Ravens are creepy like that, though. They'll watch you. Yeah. All, all of them watch you. you it's true. That? And then we've got this thing. We've got this thing behind me that's just glowing of magic. Oh yeah, it it definitely doesn't seem natural. Well, uh, let's go uh, see what this is about. Honestly, I'm curious if he uh, knows who we are already or not. Yeah, he did come straight up to me, but only I think because I lost some money gambling. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Well. I'll be standing right behind you. Uh. So who talks to him and who is standing there? Uh, real quick, uh, buddies, just do a quick huddle here. And um, the two guys standing next to me, it's going to be a roller coast, uh, will be one of them. And uh, I'll give it to I'll give it to Jerry as uh, we're huddling up and I'm patting their backs. Um, I cast Bless on the three of us. Okay. So... Uh... Just we'll go over Bless next episode. Um, let's sure. just get to the conversation uh, with Amrick. All of you are there or no? Yes. Yes, we're all there. Okay. I will be taking point, I guess. Yes. So you approach Amrick and he smiles and he says, Hello, yes, would you like a loan? Is that what you've come here for? It's quite good terms, if I say so myself. Well, sure. Why don't we have a seat over here i think i don't need all these people. yeah there's an empty these people knowing all my business are you, are you friends papers. going to okay and there's an empty couch across from him yeah i will so how... head to the couch so how much do you require i can loan up to 150 gold what are, what are the terms the terms are that you would pay it back in a 10-day, and there's a 25% interest on the loan. 25% in 10 days. And you see the pony-haired redhead behind you, ponytail uh, redhead behind him, just is kind of a little more awake now that somebody's talking to Amrick. All right. Um, I'm going to ask him if there's, like, papers I could sign or, like... What's the protocol here? I mean, the protocol is your word. Is your word good for anything? Absolutely. My word is everything. Okay. And, uh, of course, if you don't know who I am, I am a member of the Van Thamper family, and we do have resources to collect on any debt that you refuse to pay. Oh. Interesting. Uh, real quick, by the way, did you hear last night about that uh that bathhouse in uh the middle city that got shut down? No. What What's the name of this bathhouse? It was. Uh, we'll just say you tell him. Yeah. It's the bathhouse with the nymphs carved into the gates. You know, nymph door bathhouse. Yeah, <laughs> nymph door bathhouse. I did not hear that. Uh, is that how is that related to this loan? Well, we we were there last night, and uh, we heard some. Th there were some people that said they were hired by you. Me. Yeah, specifically you. Amrick. Yeah, Amrick. 
Wow. Yeah. Maybe they have seen me and they were just dropping a name. That that seems highly unlikely, given the circumstances. Uh, we ran into your brother down there, Mortlock. That... He kind of looks down. What did that scar-faced Hulk have to say? Something along the lines of, uh, you wanting to kill him? Oh, that's interesting. Another doozy from that ugly beast. Uh, well, to be fair, we've never gotten along. I did not wish any murder upon him. Uh, make a insight check. That's pretty good. 18. Yeah, you think he's lying yeah. about uh, his brother and uh, you um basically see through his bullshit what is a uh, ponytail man doing as i start talking to him about this his eyes are a little wider but he's not taking uh he's not taking an aggressive stance yet no he's definitely paying more attention okay um well i'm just gonna be real honest with you here bud and i'm assuming i'm still wearing my flaming fist insignia that they gave us yes if you somewhere, want, yeah. Yeah, somewhere that is visible. Yeah. And I'll be like, well, I was sent here and uh, as, as a job to uh, investigate the attempted murder of Morlock Van Damme. And you being the prime witness, I would like to ask you to come in for some questioning just to clear up your name. I assure you... I had nothing to do with it. If anything, Mortlock probably brought it upon himself. Did he tell you how he burned his face? Uh... No, we didn't really have time to exchange tales. So I'm, you're here not to get a loan. You're here to interrogate me. Is that what's going on? Essentially. And you do know who my mother is? Yeah. This is why we want to clear your name. We don't want there to be any suspicion. Oh, I don't care if you suspect me. I, my name is clear. My, simply by having my last name. That, That's not how that works. Well, you can take it up with the Dukes. And you can lodge a complaint with whoever... Whatever shitty human being is running the Flaming Fist. Well, all right. And then uh, I will get up and start to walk away and put my hands on my sword and... as I walk away. And hope that my party gets the hint that this guy's not yep. going to give us anything <laughs> without... <laughs> and, waiting. and we'll start next week with uh, Rolling Initiative. Woo. I think you're muted, Gary. As he's sorry, keep forgetting. Um, as he's, I see him grabbing that before we roll initiative. Can I cast mage armor? No. Okay. You could <laughs> actually sure you could have done it once you guys were talking about um kind of planning and talking. I'll say you can do it. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll start there next week. Cool guys. Woo! Awesome sauce. Just taking some notes. Burning down a tavern. I mean, fireball <laughs> here, fireball <laughs> there, fireball <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, she's cool with you guys fighting in here, but she just expects those who fight to pay for damages. Yeah. Yeah, flame, I mean, uh, there won't be any test. damages to pay for if there's no boat left. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> That's true. There was uh, never a boat here to begin with. I don't know what you're talking about. And I mean, if she didn't make it out alive. <laughs> yes, there will be an empty spot in the harbor. Uh, but cool. You guys have anything you want to plug? Anything? No, I'm good. 
Nope. Cool. D Rod D Rod three on the socials. That's it. All right. Uh, I am Jake Friday. You can find me on the socials, Twitter and Instagram at Jake Friday. Follow Venture Ventures on Twitter and Instagram at Venture Ventures. I play in a D and D game on Wednesdays at four thirty Eastern. That is PM, of course. Uh, called Dungeons and Deductibles, where a bunch of insurance investigators try to figure out how much things uh, cost for various adventuring uh, actions and things like that, and track down uh, agents of chaos in Waterdeep. And then Sundays, I'm playing in a game, Trophy Gold, which starts at 11 in the morning Pacific time. So uh, that's a fun game, interesting system. Other than that, uh, we'll be back next Wednesday, not Monday. 20th, I believe, is Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific. And uh, yeah, be excellent to others and excellent to yourself. See you guys later.